So for this problem, we are going to be finding our optimal quantity of labor to maximize our profit. So let's begin. So first thing first, let's rewrite our production function. Okay. You know, I don't like the square roots here, so I like to always rewrite them by the power one half. Remember that the square root of L really equals L by the power of one half, and the square root of K really equals K by the power of one half. Okay, so that's what I just did. Now we need to identify our total revenue. Our total revenue really equals the price of your product. For this problem, the price of our product is really equals P, so we write P. That's the quantity of your product. So how much do you sell? So P times Q equals your total revenue. And the cost of your labor equals PL. And for this problem, our cost of labor equals PL. So PL equals PL. Okay? Now, let's write total revenue minus our total cost of labor. Okay? Let me scroll down so we can get a little bit more space. Perfect. Now we know Q. So let's rewrite this. So we, we got P, P is P, which is the price of your, of your product. And we know Q. Q is really up here. Q, it's here. We're going to plug that value into here. Okay. So let's do that. So we got 2L by the power of 1 half. K by the power of one half, and now we got PL here. So we're going to subtract the cost of labor, PL, okay? And we're going to equal this equation to zero, and we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to L. Uh, some professor called this the first order condition with respect to L, but it's the same. So that way you know, if they say first order condition, you know they're asking you to take the partial derivative with respect to L, okay? So now we are going to be using the power rule uh, to solve this problem. So I'll take it step by step, that way you know what I'm doing. So we got P times 2. Now, I'm going to bring down this half power over here. Okay, and I'm going to be subtracting 1 from this half power. So let's do that. So 1 half L, 1 half minus 1, K, 1 half minus PL equals 0. Okay. So we are left with the following P times 2 1 half L negative 1 half K 1 half minus PL equals 0 let's continue these are going to cancel out so we're really left with P L negative 1 half K 1 half minus PL equals 0 So here we're trying to find our L because that's the optimal quantity of labor that is going to maximize our profit. So let's continue solving the equation. So we are going to get this PL to the other side. So we're going to add it. Okay. So it's going to be PL. Perfect. Let's continue. Now, we have a negative power here. Since it is a negative power, that's going to be moved to the denominator. So let's do that. P, K, 1 half, 
divided by L one half equals PL. Let me scroll down so we can get more space here. Let me rewrite this because it seems a bit confusing. So it's P times K by the power one half divided by L by the power one half equals PL. Okay. Now we want to get this L to the other side, right? So the way we do that is by multiplying both sides of the equation by L by the power one half. L power one half. L by the power one half. Okay. So this cancel out, and we're left with P k by the power one half equals P l l by the power one half. Now we want we are still solving for l because we want to find the optimal quantity of l that is going to maximize our profit. So let's divide both sides of the equation by P l. So this cancel out, and we're left with P k power one half P l equals L by the power, power one half. Now, we want to get rid of these half powers, right? We don't like them. So we're going to square both sides of the equation by two, by 2. So let's square both sides of the equation. When we do that, this cancel. So we're left with the following. <clears throat> and P square, P L square, K equals L, and that's our optimal L, okay? That's it. Um, by the way, the way I got this square here is because I distributed this square into the K, into the P, into the P L. So that's our optimal uh, quantity of labor that is going to maximize our profit here. As you can see, this problem is not that complicated. Profit maximization is uh, one of the easiest problems there is in microeconomics. So if you like the video, click like, uh, subscribe. I'm going to be continuing creating more microeconomics video. Hopefully you like them. Take care.